Hi all, today we are going to see the summary of conversion between different coordinate systems. Remember this lecture is a summary of our previous 6 lectures. So in different coordinate systems, the different coordinate systems we have seen are first one is rectangular coordinate system. In rectangular coordinate systems, the coordinates are x, y and z. And after that we have seen the cylindrical coordinate system. The cylindrical coordinate system, the coordinates are rho, phi and z. And last one we have seen the spherical coordinate system. In the spherical coordinate system, the sphere is represented by the radius and the value of theta. This is with respect to the z axis and phi. These are the coordinates. So let us see how to convert from one coordinate system to another coordinate system. For this simple thing is there. Let us take for example, I have a vector A. Let us assume it is in rectangular coordinate system. It can be any coordinate system. Other can be done in the similar way. Ax in the direction of x ay in the direction of y and az in the direction of z. So this I want to convert to, let us assume I want to convert to spherical coordinate system for example. So spherical coordinate system we know the components are a, this will be r in the r direction. So similarly there will be theta direction will be there, let us take it as theta. So similarly third component will be in the phi direction. So that is why let us take it as phi. So I have to convert this one into this format. So in order to convert this to this format, if I need these coefficients because unit vectors are having unit magnitude, there are no issue. So to calculate this value of each one, this is nothing but the scalar projection of this vector A in the direction of R. So this will be scalar projection of A in the direction of theta will be this one A theta. Similar is the case for phi. How to do the scalar projection? We have already seen the dot product or the scalar projection product how the scalar projection can be done. So this can be done by taking a dot product of A in the direction of R. So you want AR, so just take the dot product in the direction of R. So what will be, what does this mean? This will be AX. This unit vector AX will be dot product with AR. Similarly, this will be AY. This AY will be in the dot product with AR. Similarly, AZ, this will be AZ will be dot product with AZ. Similar way, if you want to calculate, for example, a theta, a theta will be a dot product with a theta. So this will be ax into ax dot product with a theta. Similarly, this will be ay, this will be ay dot product with a theta. And this is third component, that is az dot product with a theta. This way you have to calculate. So same way I can calculate for the phi. So this will be equal to a dot product with phi a phi unit vector phi so in this way i can calculate so let me just erase this a phi so in this way i can calculate it so for calculating these things because in order to calculate the ar a theta and a phi i need the dot product so this product if you know the table then you can do the conversion very easily so let us see how to convert between the coordinates for converting from between the coordinates or to know this table, first let us briefly discuss about different coordinate systems. If you take the rectangular coordinate system, it will have three coordinates which are perpendicular to each other. This will be x, y and z. These are perpendicular to each other. Now, if you want to represent any point, so that point will be represented by how much it is shifted in the x direction. Then how much it is shifted in the y direction followed by how much it is shifted in the z direction. So this will be my point. Let us assume this is x1, y1, comma z1. How this is obtained? By shifting in the x direction, y direction and then followed by the z direction. So using this I will get the values. So these are represented by x1, y1 and z1. So let us see the cylindrical coordinate system. Then we will see the relationship between these two. So in the cylindrical coordinate system, again x is here, y is here and this is my value of z. In cylindrical coordinate system, first thing is that using the x and y coordinates, we form a circle. So let us take for example, I have a particular value of x. So similarly, I have a particular value of y. So this point came. So this in the xy plane, this is called as this radius in the xy plane is called as rho. This rho will be equal to square root of x square plus y square. So let us assume it is making an angle of phi with respect to your x axis. This phi I can obtain by tan inverse of opposite by adjacent. So tan inverse of y by x or otherwise the rho in the x direction gives the x component. So we can calculate the x component will be equal to rho cos phi and y will be equal to rho sin phi. This is the relationship between these two. Now to this rho using this rho but means by varying the value of x and y 
I can maintain the row value constant. If you maintain the row value of constant by varying different values of x and y, you will get a circle. So let us assume you got one circle like this. You got one circle. So now if this circle is projected up in the third dimension, so that leads to the cylinder. A cylinder will be formed there. So how much it is projected from here in the vertical direction? So this gives my point. Let us assume I want to find some particular point. This is my point P. This point is represented by what is the value of rho and what is the phi, what is the shift with respect to x axis and what is in the z axis. Getting it how the cylinder will be formed. Let us see how the conversion takes place between different coordinate systems. So that I am again drawing this cylindrical coordinate system. So y, x and z. So let us take the half part so that it will be easy to analyze. So I am taking this one. So I am taking a quarter part of a cylinder. That means one fourth part of a cylinder. So how it is coming. So let us assume one point is here. So to reach this point, how we will get just project it onto the xy plane. It is intersected at this point. So this indicates my value of rho. This indicates my value of phi. And this height indicates the value of z. So at this point, this will be equal to rho phi and corresponding value of z. Corresponding value of z means when you project this to the z axis, this gives my value of z. Getting it? So at this point, let us see how the different components will come. If you are varying the value of the rho, rho will be incremented in this direction. This is my direction of a rho. Or I can tell that rho will be in the incremental direction of this radius. This is my value of a rho. Similarly, phi will be in the incremental direction of phi because phi is taken with respect to x axis this will be my direction of a phi and similarly if you want to take the z direction z direction will be z will be incrementing in the direction of z this is my direction of a z so let us see how to resolve each of these components into the x y and z coordinates or vice versa so let us see one by one so for that i am just preparing a table this table i am preparing between a x a y and a z remember the dot product is commutative to so there will be no reference even if you are reversing them a phi and a z so let us take a rho this is my value of a rho this a rho i can project in the direction of x how to get it by taking the value of cos phi so this is my value is cos phi similarly y y will be equal to y is this component or y component will be sin phi Remember in the exam, if you can visualize your coordinate system properly, you can derive this table there directly in the exam, no need to mark up anything. So similarly, AZ, because rho, phi and z are the three coordinates in cylindrical coordinate system, both are 90 degrees perpendicular to each other. So obviously, z component will be equal to 0 because cos 90 is equal to 0. Now let us take the z component. Z, you can see here, z is in the rectangular coordinate system also. That means in rectangular coordinate system, ax and ay are 90 degrees perpendicular to az. So automatically cos 90 will be equal to 0. Only az dot product with az will be equal to 1. So z is over. Now let us see how to calculate the value of phi. So to calculate the value of phi, I am simply taking my x coordinate and y coordinate so that it can be visualized easily. So let us assume this is my value of rho. This is my value of phi. So incremental value of phi will be tangent at this point. So tangent I am just extending. I can extend like this. This is my value of a phi, unit vector phi. So this angle is 90 degrees. So this will be equal to, because total angle is 90 degrees, this will be equal to 90 minus phi. If this is 90 minus phi, because this total sum in this triangle will be 180 degrees, this will be equal to phi. So obviously this will be equal to phi by symmetry. So this a phi has two components. One component is in this direction. So this can be obtained by taking cos phi. Second component will come in this direction. This will be obtained by using sin phi. That means we can tell that the sin phi is giving opposite to the direction of x. If you want in the direction of x, I have to take the minus sign. So that's why this will be equal to minus sin phi. Similarly, if you want in the y direction, y direction can be obtained by cos phi. Now coming to the z. Because we know the phi is in the xy plane, it is 90 degrees perpendicular to the z plane. So obviously, the dot product with the z will be equal to 0. So this is the way how to convert between rectangular to uh, cylindrical coordinate system and cylindrical to rectangular coordinate system, vice versa. So using this, you can do the conversions. So let us see what is the spherical coordinate system. How does it comes? So for knowing the spherical coordinate system, let us assume I have one sphere. 
So let us take the coordinates. This is my x coordinate, y coordinate, and this is my z coordinate. This is my value of a sphere. Getting it? So in this sphere, let us assume I am taking a small arc, so a particular line. So let us assume it is varying like this. So in this line, some particular point I want to represent. This is my point P. Generally, this point is represented by the radius. What is the length? So this is equal to radius. And what is the angle with respect to z axis? This is given by the value theta. The angle with respect to z axis. And the third one is when you project this to the x y plane. That means when you project this point to the x y plane. So this point will form an angle of phi with respect to the x axis. That means when you project this point to the x y plane, it will form an angle phi with respect to x axis. So this length I can consider as the value is rho. Getting it? So this way, these are the three coordinates. That means the three coordinates in this uh, spherical coordinate system are r, theta, and phi. These are the three coordinates. So now let us see what are the lengths of various coordinates here. So this length will be if you are projecting this in the z axis direction. So this will become equal to cos theta. That means r is projected in this direction, r cos theta. Similarly, this projection or the rho will be equal to r sin theta. This will be equal to r sin theta. Remember this much basics or remaining things we will see. So now coming to unit vectors because in order to get the table, we need the unit vectors. So let me draw the table first. Let, then after that, we will keep one by one there. So for this coordinate systems, let us take between cylindrical and spherical coordinate system first because it is easy. After that, we will go for remaining coordinate systems. So let us take it as a r, a theta and a phi. So here I am taking a rho a phi and a z here. You can do the vice versa because it is a dot product only. Now coming to the a r. So generally the value of a r, the unit vector a r will be like this. Incremental direction of r. And this will be my value of the row, incremental direction of the row. It will be in the x y plane. That means if you want to convert r to the row, then it will be equal to, you have to project this to this side. So it will automatically equal to sin theta. a r in the projection of this will be equal to sin theta, then a r in the direction of phi, because phi is there in this coordinate also, automatically this is perpendicular to the value of phi, because the value of a phi will be like this, this is my direction of a phi, this is my direction of a rho, and the a r will be in this direction, when you are projecting it will be in the direction of a rho, but it is 90 degrees perpendicular to a phi, so automatically this component will be equal to 0. So up to here it is clear. Now coming to the z component. Z component we have already seen. We can get for using cos theta. So that's why this will be equal to cos theta. R is done. Now let us complete for the case of phi. So for a phi, because a phi is perpendicular to a rho, because a phi is available in this cylindrical coordinate system also. So this will be 0, this will be 0. a phi dot a phi will be equal to 1. Now only a theta is remaining. How to remember the value of the theta? You can see here the incremental value of the theta will be in the incremental direction. So this is my direction of a theta. So let me try to draw it here so that it will be more clear to you. So x, y and z. This is my radius having an angle of theta here. The direction of a theta will be like this. So for this what I am doing, I am just drawing a vertical line and a horizontal line. So this forms 90 degrees. Remember here as it is a tangent at this point, this angle will be 90 degrees. So this angle is theta. The total angle is 90 degrees, so this will be equal to 90 minus theta. So this angle is 90 degrees, so obviously this angle will be theta. So when this angle is theta, so what will be this angle? This angle will be 90 minus theta, so obviously this angle will be equal to theta. That means a theta you can project in the direction of xy plane, that means in the row plane and second one it can be projected in the direction of the z plane, so it will come like this. So this will be a theta you are resolving in the sine component. So this will be equal to sin theta. This will be equal to cos theta. That means if you are taking the cos theta, it is projecting in the xy plane or the rho plane. So that's why a theta in the direction of rho will be equal to cos theta. Then a theta in the direction of phi. a theta in the direction of phi because a theta and phi are 90 degrees here. Because in this coordinate they are 90 degrees. So this will be equal to 0. Now in the z direction, you can see here this arrow is showing opposite direction to direction of z. That's why you have to take minus of what is coming here. So this will be minus sin theta. 
So I think this is clear to you how to convert between spherical to cylindrical and vice versa. In this way, we have to do it. So let us see how to convert between rectangular coordinate system to cylindrical or spherical coordinate system and vice versa. So for that, again, I am taking a table. So take it as AX, AY, AZ. This will be AR, A theta and A phi. These are the different things. So let us try to calculate one by one. First one is, first let us take AR. So AR, I have told you this AR when you are projecting in the XY plane, first it will be projected in the direction of the row or the XY plane. Now in the when it is projected in the XY plane, it is multiplying with sin theta. We have just seen there AR when it is projected in the row direction, it becomes sin theta. So this sin theta or the row, if you want to convert from this row to the X direction, we have to multiply with cos phi. Because when you are projecting this to the XY plane, we have to take it as cos phi. We have seen in rectangular to cylindrical coordinate conversion. So this will become equal to sin theta into cos phi. And second one, this will be sin theta, you have to multiply with sin phi to get the Y component. Then AR in the direction of Z. So AR in the direction of Z, we have already derived here. This AR in the direction of Z is obtained by taking cos theta. So that's why I can write it as cos theta. This part is done. So let us complete for the case of the a phi, then we will go for a theta because a theta is little complex. So here it becomes little bit tight. So I am just erasing it. This will be equal to a theta. Then this will be equal to a phi. So let us take the value of a phi. Now coming to the value of the phi, coming to the value of the phi. So the phi I want to convert to x, y and z coordinate. This phi is same as in the cylindrical coordinate system. So whatever we have seen for the cylindrical coordinate system, the same thing can be kept in cylindrical coordinate system. We have drawn this diagram. So from this diagram, we got that the cos phi will be y component and sin phi will be minus x component. That means x component will be minus sin phi and y component will be cos phi and z is perpendicular to theta. So it will become equal to zero. Now theta is remaining. Now coming to the theta again, we have seen here theta, the x, y plane component will be equal to cos theta. That means x, y plane component is equal to cos theta. If you write cos theta, it will convert to the x, y plane. So that x, y plane should be shifted to x. That means it is in the row plane. So to shift in the x direction, I have to multiply with cos phi. So shift in the y direction, I have to multiply with sin phi. So up to here, it is clear to you. Now coming to the last component, a theta in the direction of z. A theta in the direction of z, you can see you are getting sin theta, but it is opposite direction to z. So this will be equal to minus sin theta. So once you are able to draw the table, what is required in the exam using these relationships, you can solve the numerical easily. So here I briefly discussed about the things and numericals and other things I have already discussed in my previous lectures. You can try to summarize this by taking any numerical and try to solve it. If you still have any query, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.